Ridge lied to Eric like he won the competition. I said, okay, what happens if the doctor say, oh, turns out you don't have this and you're not dying? Or what happens if they say, oh, we could find a cure? What you going to do then? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This for the Bold and Beautiful November 2nd, 2023. Okay, so look here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always start the intro like that. Look here. I knew. I think we all knew, based on yesterday's episode, that Ridge was going to say, turns out you won. When he said um, it was close, I was like, is he going to tell the truth? He did not tell the truth. And I'm kind of disappointed. Because why not just have him win if y'all just going to do this storyline? And then, like, why wouldn't they have him get sick or something to show, you know, Ridge versus having RJ tell him last minute, right before he about to tell him the results? I said, man, also, I don't know if I mentioned already that Steffi's back, y'all. Steffi is back. But yeah, let's finish up with Ridge now before we talk about Steffi and Finn. So yeah, Ridge tells Eric, Eric kept questioning him about who won. Why are you not saying anything? I can handle it. Even after he said he could handle it, Ridge still proceeded to lie. He still proceeded to lie. But you, I can't tell if Ridge is upset about, you know, the illness and what's happening with his father. Or if he upset because he has to tell his father that he won when he know he didn't win. Or a mixture of both. And I said, now what if that doctor come and say, oh, turns out um, you don't have what we thought. It was a mistake. Or there's actually a cure for it or something. Because I was like, what was the reason for doing all this? I don't understand. They could have been done so much better. Especially if Eric is not actually passing away. If he's not getting taken off the show or whatever. But I said, look, I felt like it would have been better if something dramatic happened. Like after the fashion show and they went on stage or whatever. And he collapsed or he collapsed after finding out the news that he didn't win. Or something like that. Because now it makes you wonder if they actually going to continue to go with this storyline or not. And I said, look. I thought somebody, or either I thought that uh, Donna was going to see their face because Brooke kept looking at RJ, RJ looking at Reed. They just kept looking at, looking suspicious. They was looking very suspicious. <laughs> That's the thing, they giving themselves away. But, um, uh, Ridge was like, uh, basically telling him he was a great designer and he won and he wasn't good enough to beat him and all this stuff. And Eric said, basically, he wasn't trying. It wasn't about beating him. It was about proving that he still mattered and he was still called to do this. And, you know, he had a purpose with this stuff. And I said, man, I said, uh, mm, uh, mm, mm. Now what, so I'm guessing they're going to tell Carter what's going on or somebody before the truth gets out. And I said, but at what point is Eric going to say, Rich, I got to tell you something. I'm sick or I'm dying or something like that. Because then he's going to have to say he know, right? Or pretend like he don't know. But okay, Steffi's back, y'all. The kids came. I said, no, nah, I ain't seen Hayes in a long time. Last time they showed him, well, I don't want to say that. Because I had stopped watching at one point. I thought the last time they showed him. No. They showed him when they reunited. Did they show him? I think they showed the uh, Hayes. I know they've been showing Kelly. But yeah, the kids came in. Hug Finn gave him a card and everything. Steffi came. They kissed. I said, oh. I said, wait a minute. So did she hear Liam's voicemail or not? Look, they always skipping over stuff. Did she hear? I thought she was going to, when she asked to, when she said she had talked to Finn alone, I was like, is she going to bring up what Leon said? Look, the best way this could go, if uh, they reunite and it's not no, you know, games. Somebody said that Steffi decides to get revenge on Sheila. I don't know if that has to do with Finn or not. She seemed legit. I don't know. But she's supposed to try to get revenge on Sheila. I don't know, though. But, yeah. I said the best way this could go is if everybody lay all the cards on the table. If they really want their marriage to work, y'all know. Y'all know what I'm going to say, but I ain't going to say it because y'all should know. But, yeah, Finn need to be honest. Be like, look, there's something I didn't want to tell you, but I got to tell you. Deacon and she are together. They in love. They still don't know that these folks engaged. Dog. I'm, I'm guessing next week since Steffi back, they finna dive more into that storyline. But yeah, Finn should tell that part. Steffi should say, I know Leon left me a voicemail. And I also should be honest with you, before I left Leon, and when we was in, what, what day was it? Was they in Paris? I forgot. Look, it's been so long. Wherever they went to have that fashion show, where Hope and Thomas kissed. Leon kissed me then, then he came back, kissed me again, then he tried to kiss me a third time, and I rejected him. I know I should have told you, but, you know. But yeah, she was like, she ready to get her life back. She ain't doing no more running. She not walking away from him. And I said, yes, in your face, Liam, in your face. They said that uh, Steph, Liam's supposed to try to kiss her again once they reunite or whatever. Uh, he's supposed to try to kiss her and she rejects it. I said, you don't need to just reject. You need to tell Finn as well. You need to tell Finn as well what's going on. Because then Liam going to look at it like, oh, you still ain't told him? You must secretly want me back or something. But yeah. Once Steffi rejects Leon, if she actually does, because y'all know sometimes these sports be inaccurate. I wonder if he's going to try to get Hope back. 
And if he does, like, how far this thing with her and Thomas don't got to. But that's it, y'all. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Oh, I skipped over Katie and Luna. <laughs> they want to talk about nothing about Eric. He has to win. They be giving stuff away, too. During their whole conversation, somebody, he has to win. And I was rich new and all this stuff. I said, yep. <laughs> that's how it went too but that's it y'all let me know what y'all thought of this episode down below stay tuned for more videos don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't already until next time deuces have a great rest of the day and be safe hey y'all check out the dlc crew text club it's a motivational group you'll receive four encouraging messages per month it's a one-time fee of ten dollars again the link will be in the description shop now